gentlemen, you are back watching Knockouts in Three Counts, and I wanted to just jump back on here real quick and give you my thoughts on tonight's Dana White's Contender Series fights, which just ended, and they just handed out the contracts for tonight. Although, for those of you who have been watching the show, and you can check out in that right-hand corner, our man Kenny Cross was supposed to be in the main event with Kevin Seiler. Then they had a Brazilian that came in for him, and the and his visa problems happened. Then they brought in DeMonte Robinson. He missed weight, cut his hair off, cut his beard off, cut everything off to try to be able to fight, and then they still couldn't have him fight because of an eye injury. Dana, we heard you mention it at the start of the card that you're going to try to bring Kenny Cross back. You got to get this man a fight at the very least, if not give him a contract. I mean, the man hat was is 10-3, and three, he's on a four-fight win streak, and he has a 100% finish rate. So... I don't know about you guys. I'd like to see it. Check out our interview with him in the corner, like I said, and you'll see for yourself this man was ready to fight. All right, let's get to the fights that did happen. The first fight that we had was Jordan Levitt versus Flores. And shout out to Jordan Levitt. Before the fight, everybody was saying, you know, don't take this guy down or any of that kind of thing. He not only got the guy to the ground, got him in an arm triangle and submitted him real quick first round. Great finish. Um, as Dana said, I mean... A great way to make your stamp into the UFC. I'm interested to see what he does going into the UFC. Um, obviously a great finish and on a platform like the Contender Series. I mean, that's I mean that's a hell of a way to make a debut. Uh, the next fight that we had on the card was R Rivera versus Rodriguez. And I'm going to be honest with you, man. I didn't think that the judges got this one right. Dana talked about it after the fight when he was handing out the contracts. Um, to me, there was one judge that had it 30 to 27. I don't see any way that this fight was 30 to 27, but Hey, I'm not a judge. And this further, you know, begs the question as to why we haven't had any reform in MMA judging yet. I believe there needs to be reform in MMA judging. I think a 10 point must system on MMA which is what boxing is governed under when there's so much more that goes into MMA. I just think it's a flawed system. We've heard Joe Rogan talk about it in many situations. Uh, like we said, Rivera got the win in this one by unanimous decision. Uh, the next fight and the most exciting one of the night, oh my God, Medic came in and knocked this man's fucking head off. I mean, he was on him from the start. And even in this fight, this was an opponent change for him too. I mean, that's why if you notice in the title of this video, you'll notice that I called it card subject to change. I mean, there were at least three fights that were changed. I know Kenny had at least three opponent changes before they finally called the fight off. Um, you know, it's part of the MMA game, but man, that's got to suck. You put all that time in for the weight cut everything and then go all the way out to Vegas only to not fight or to have your opponent changed and you got to kind of... You got to roll with the punches. I mean, but in this fight, Medic clearly was able to not only adapt, but he surely overcome and kick that man's head into the third row. Uh, the last fight we had on the card, you had a UFC vet in Dustin Jacoby and a guy who has also been fighting uh, for glory kickboxing. Uh, I mean, he came in and looked great. He fought uh, Ty Flores, who's a guy from Elevation Fight Team. Uh, obviously a respectable team. He had, and Jacoby for being the stand-up guy, I mean, good God almighty, dude, he had great takedown defense and was tagging Flores up. Flores is a very tough guy, don't get me wrong. Um, He stuck around all three rounds and very arguably could have won the third round as well, but I think they definitely got uh, the decision right. I think Jacoby was the winner on that one. Now let's get to contracts, except for the contract that should already be getting... Uh, awarded to Kenny Cross, but hey, we're going to see him either at the end of, hopefully going to see him at the end of Contender Series because, hey man, that man deserves a shot. But with the guys that fought tonight, um, obviously Levitt got him a contract. Dana said he liked the fight between Rivera and Rodriguez with both of them guys being young, but they didn't get a contract. Medic definitely got him a contract with knocking old boy's head into the third row and Dustin Jacoby got him another shot. Um, Shout out to Jacoby. I was a little worried that Dana wasn't going to give him his shot, but it was a great fight, great way to come back. And it, he he made a great point. It's been 10 years since he had his first two fights in the UFC. That's a hell of a comeback story to come back after a 10-year absence from the UFC. 
Um, let us know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Who did? Who did you guys? What did you guys think of the fights? Did, was there anybody that you thought should have gotten a contract or anything of that sort? Let us know in the comments, and hopefully we'll stay tuned and see if Kenny Cross uh, gets his shot. Like I said, uh, the link was earlier in the video, and it's in the description. You can see from this interview, he was ready to go. And uh, if you're watching this, make sure you set, smash that uh, subscribe button down for the three count. And like I said, don't miss any of the great content as next week we're going to be bringing you part two with Aaron O'Ryan as we talk about his son's battle with cancer and how it's now fueled him to come back to wrestling. And the week after that, we're going to be bringing you Jimmy Flick, the new 125-pound LFA champion. Uh, plus, past guests of the show, it was just announced, Adrian, the Eagle Harjabij, who's a Bellator vet. And if you look in the uh, archives on Apple Podcasts, we've already had him on the show. It's just been announced he's going to be fighting for LFA on August 28th on UFC Fight Pass. So stay tuned. He very well could be coming back to you. And this Friday, past guest of the show, Miles Fury Jury is going to war on the UFC, or the Bellator, excuse me, not UFC anymore. He's with Bellator. Bellator 243 card with uh, Ben Henderson versus Michael Chandler is your main event. He's going to be going to war with Georgie Karahanian. We're going to have our prediction video dropping with Bobby Nashty Nash, who you can check his interview out right there as he goes to war for CFFC. Uh, August 13th live for their welterweight title on UFC Fight Pass. Like I said, hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss any of this dope content. And in the meantime and in between time, stay safe, wear your mask. Peace.